process and plan has called you and said, hey, listen, um, you know, what you're doing right now in, in the pre-harvest for uh, getting rid of this bug is not working, okay? And what you have in front of you is your vaccine. This is what you've been using tried and true for the last five years. Never gotten a call from the process and plan before, okay? But they're saying, for some reason, it's not working. And you're going, what do you mean it's not working? Well, the person in the process and plan says, we've got proof. And what we have in front of us is proof of what's not working. So all of a sudden, these bugs are showing up, okay? And these little balls here represent what's showing up in the process of plan, okay? And so you've been charged with creating a vaccine that does not exist. So you go to, you knock on Gary's door and say, Gary, what, what do you have for this? And Gary says, well, what, what present vaccine are you using right now? He says, well, I'm using this vaccine, but that's what I have. What am I supposed to do? Can you help me out? And Gary says, well, we can make you a custom biological product. So what I want you to do now, <coughs> if you want to follow Roxanne's lead, what I want you to do, these are what's showing up the processing plant, okay? And now what I want you to do now is make a custom biological that would prevent these from showing up in the processing plant. Wouldn't uh, you just take one of each and put them in there? Okay. <laughs> Very good. You probably you probably would just take one of each from the jar. But here's the rules of vaccinology. Uh, <laughs> rules. They're rules. They're rules. <laughs> you have to have a minimum of two for each of the represented strains that you have in front of you to put into the into into your vaccine. So first we get rid of that. Right? Okay, would you? <laughs> no, it's not just said it that way. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's a valid question. In our actually, I, yesterday I had the same question, exact same question from a live production veterinarian. Do I get rid of that? Because it's not showing up in the processing plan. Yeah. Do I get rid of it? So why is it not showing up in the processing plan? Because you're vaccinated. Yeah, because it's working, right? right. Mm -hmm. So what happens if you get rid of it? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, so I'm okay. How much does it cost? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we'll, we'll talk about cost in a second. We'll talk about cost and final formulation in the very, because that's great, that's a very valid question as well, because that's a valid question that we get all the time. How much does this cost? Surprisingly inexpensive, okay. especially with all the service that you get for it. <laughs> so if you if you all wouldn't mind, this is what's showing up at the processing plant. The rule of thumb for this vaccinology exercise is that you have to have a minimum of each, two of each to go into your into your bottle. Okay, Roxanne is going to uh, do it at the same time. So as y'all open up these jars, you're going to make your your vaccine. So, and there aren't the same number. In each of these. That, yeah, doesn't matter. Okay, so we go back around. Everybody's got two of everything in there. We're following rules. We're saving the company money. Okay, this one works. This one does not work. What? Well, there's a blue that's off. It's kind of greenish. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. He's just Switch making blue. us up. I think so. It's a little bit more difficult. This one does not work. Oh, what? <laughs> so they have to be in a certain order? This one does not work. That was the easier one for me to say for some reason. This one does not work. Dude, that's why I'm going with more. Yeah. This one does not work. Only yours worked, Cheryl? Yeah, no. So what, what's happening? And I think we had somebody indicate what was it's happening. It's the order of it. No, it's not order. It's, it's not nothing no, to do with order. Okay. Yeah. Huh? The first one worked, and then it the, it morphed the virus. They all look blue, right? Oh. When we first looked at them, can't hold that still. They all look blue. But actually, we have a teal. It, it gets harder. Oh. It gets harder to tell what's in there. 
There's oh, this yeah, minute difference. Right. <laughs> this might and sometimes you know we went over two different techniques, right? We talked about genotype and phenotype. And we needed a genome But I had two of each of mine. <laughs> so, yeah, but you were costing the company okay. so much money. <laughs> So, so here's the thing about it. Sometimes you can do this uh, easily with phenotype, but sometimes, and what we've employed here is the genotype. This genotype can say, listen, we need one of each to go in here. Because say if you had two of the, the blue, or just say you had two of the teals, that one is still going to be coming through. It's still going to be causing the issue. And this is what, this is actually, this is real life. I mean, this is real life what our customers face on a daily basis. 